making this video because I've been hearing about this cussing pastor. Yes, this cussing pastor. This pastor is a cusser. Everything he say out of his mouth is cursing word. And the Bible say we must always be seasoned with our words. So I don't know what kind of Bible this pastor is reading from. I don't know if he's a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ or he's a minister of the devil. My conclusion of the matter is this pastor is carnal. Yes, this, this pastor, amen, he is a, he's a carnal preacher. If he calls himself a pastor, he's a carnal pastor. Yes, he is. Because if a man go around cussing like a sailor, he, he, he is a carnal pastor. This man is carnal. And I'm praying for his congregation because he not set an example, hey, glory to God, because the Bible talk about, my friend, there should be no, no gesturing. We should not use abusive language. My friend, every word come out of his pastor mouth is cussing. So I'm wondering what kind of Bible is he reading? Because the Bible says, by thy word thou art justified, and by thy word thou art condemned. The Bible says, life and death in the power of the tongue, and they that love the fruit thereof. The Bible says, bridle your tongue. The Bible says, the tongue is, is a vapor. Hey, glory to God, my friend. And this pastor, hey, glory to God, he calls himself a pastor. He calls himself a cussing pastor. I'm wondering, does this man have a congregation? I want to know who sits under him. I want to know how many members that say amen. Because if they say amen, they're a partaker of his sin. The Bible say the blind lead the blind and both fall into the ditch. So this pastor, he's leading people to carnality. Yes, he is. Because the Bible say, my friend, if you're sold to the flesh, corruption, but if it's sold to the spirit, life everlasting. So I'm wondering, hey, glory to God, is this pastor reading the word of God? I'm wondering, is this pastor a spiritual pastor or he's a carnal or do you know the difference between carnality and spirituality? Because if you, if you are a man of God, hallelujah, you should be using the word seasoned. Hallelujah, glory to God. The Bible says, my friend, what's in your heart will come through your mouth. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the bundle of heart in the mouth speaking. So this man's heart is carnal. He got a carnal heart. Hey, glory to God. You can't be a pastor cussing. Hey man, he might as well, he might as well not be a pastor. He might as well be a, a glory to God, an orator. He might as well be a comedian. Because the Bible say we should not jester. The Bible say bridle your tongue. The Bible say a fountain can bring forth sweet water and bitter water. And if you are a pastor and you bring him so bitter water, your fountain is out of order. Then about want to drink out of out of bitter out of bitter water. Hey Amen. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to drink out of a fountain that got bitter water. You gotta put an outer order sign on that foundation. So if you're listening, this, my friend, the cussing pastor is carnal. He's not spiritual. Hey man, what's that? He's not spiritual. He's not even a pastor. He glory, he's a comedian. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can't you can't be a shepherd. How can you lead God's sheep and you're cussing? You're abusing the language. Hey, hallelujah, glory to God. They call him a cussing pastor. They should, they should call him a cusser. He not no pastor. A pastor mean a shepherd. A pastor mean, my friend, a, he's a spiritual father. And there's there no spirituality about this cussing pastor. Because he cusser, he a cusser. He'll cuss you out. 
Anytime you want to talk about a man's lazy and a woman shouldn't give her her stuff to a lazy man. My friend, this, you can do a better job than cussing. Encourage the man. Hey, go th that don't work. The Bible says if it don't work, you eat. You don't eat. You gotta you gotta tell a woman don't give him, don't give your stuff to a lazy man. And he, and I'm I'm just clear, I'm not clear because I'm not a cussing pastor. I'm not a cussing minister. So I'm not gonna repeat what he say. I'm not be I'm not gonna be partaker of his carnality. Amen. Listen, Lord pastor to God is a carnal pastor. Yes, he's carnal. I want to say he's a carnal because any man that you vulgar cussing language, my friend, he's not seasoning, he don't have he's not seasoning the word of God. My friend, he's just a cusser. Anytime you're a cusser, you're not edifying, you're destroying the body of Christ. My friend, who wanna hear a cusser? Who wanna hear somebody that's cussing like a sailor? You supposed to be edifying the body of Christ, not to destroy the body of Christ. Amen. And he supposed to be representing Christ. He representing the devil. I say he representing self. He representing Satan. And he represent he representing secularism. You supposed to be a man of God. You supposed to be representing God. Jesus Christ never cuss. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ never say a, a word out of his mouth. The only thing Jesus Christ say, tell a fox. And glory to God. Amen. So if you are a man of God. Amen. You supposed to be representing the body of Christ. You supposed to be representing Jesus Christ. Amen. You're not representing Christ. You're representing self. You're representing Satan. You're representing secularism, which is the world. Amen. We're supposed to be, amen, to be example to the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. So this cousin pastor is not even a pastor. He's an orator. He's a comedian. Hey, glory to God. He not representing Jesus. He representing self. He's glorifying himself. Anytime you glorify yourself, you are you are uh, 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 full of pride. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Amen. What are you going to say to God when he stand before God and God going to say, who were you representing? <laughs> Amen. You can't say representing Christ because he's not representing Christ. He's representing himself. Amen. The Bible said, deny yourself, pick up the cross and follow me. Follow who me? Jesus. And you, if you're not denying yourself, my friend, you're exalting yourself. You're not denying yourself. If you are if you are deny yourself, my friend, and pick up the cross, that means deny yourself mean, my friend, we are not of our own anymore. The Bible says we are bought with a price. Glorify God in our body. The Bible says, present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Hallelujah, glory to God. So the Bible say, my friend, if we are renewing our mind, our mind supposed to be of Christ. Hey, glory to God. You're not humbling yourself. If you are a cusser, you are not saved. Hey, glory to God. Because I remember I, I was never cussing. Hey, Amen. I never, I don't think I, I, I was, when I was in the world, I was a cusser. Hey, Amen. I don't think, I, I don't think I ever said a cussing word out of my mouth when I was in the world. Amen. I have respect. Anybody that cuss, my friend, they need bleach to wash out. They need soap to wash out their mouth. I saw the Bible talk about bridling your tongue in the book of James. The tongue is like an asp. The tongue is like a deadly weapon. Amen. You can you can hurt somebody with your tongue. Hey, glory to God. Amen. That's why the Bible talk about bridling our tongue. And if this pastor is a cusser. This pastor that bridle his tongue. This man, how did the Bible say, my friend, your fountain is out of order? Hey man, we all defend hallelujah with our tongue, my friend. You know what, you know many tongues, you know how many people you can you can defend? Your tongue is for gossiping. Hey man, hey man. A lot of people, as soon as they go home, they start gossiping. Can't imagine the man that's cussing at you. 
when he preaching, he's cussing. He's not preaching, my friend. He dividing. Hey, man, he conquering. He not exalting. He destroying the cussing pastor. And you yeah, yeah, got the nerve to subscribe to him. You got the nerve to listen to him. You got to learn to learn from him. You come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The cussing pastor is a carnal pastor. I said it and I won't take it back. He need to grow up. He's still in the flesh. And the Bible says there's no good thing that door in the flesh. The, the Bible says, my friend, no flesh shall, shall tarry in my sight. No flesh, my friend. And if you are a pastor, you are not edifying. You are destroying the body of Christ. You need to grow up. Hey, hey man, you are, you are hey, grow, a babe in Christ, my friend. We ought to, we ought to mature. You're not, you're not showing maturity. Hey, you are cussing. Hey, man, I, I expect a babe to cuss because a, a babe does not know better. But if you are a pastor, you ought to be mature. Hey, man, come on now. You, you, you ought to be eating the meat of the word, not the milk, drinking the milk. You are a, you are a, a, a babe. If you are cussing, you are a babe. I expect babe to cuss. I expect babe to fall. But not when you are mature. You are a pastor. Amen. Glory to God. That's why Paul, that's why, that's why Paul told Timothy, study to show thyself approved unto God. I work on the need that mission rightly, dividing the word of truth. And if you are a pastor, you ought to be dividing the word of truth. If you are a pastor, you are not a novice. I say a novice cuss. Yes, they do because they are novice. Hey, glory to God. But you are a pastor. You are a shepherd. You are a leader. Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ. How can somebody follow you cussing? My friend, God going to get you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if you are following this pastor, my friend, God going to get you too. Because you are on his leadership. Hey, glory to God. The cussing pastor is carnal. Hey, glory to God. I said it. He's a carnal man. Because we ought to be cussing, my friend. We ought to be edifying. We ought to be seasoning. The Bible said we are the light of the world. The Bible said let your light shine that men may see a good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. The Bible said we are seasoned. We ought to season the world. Hey, glory to God. But hey, you are a cusser. You're not seasoning. The Bible says you are henceforth good to nothing to be trodden under the feet of man. If the salt have lost its savior, it's good for nothing but to be trodden under the feet of men. Hey, glory to God.